Hello and welcome to a quick tour of the beta for Easy Design 4.5. Uh, and in, in this short video, I will walk you through uh, the major changes in the new version. And so, okay, let's get started. I'm currently in my live 3D view here in the new 4.5 uh, viewer, 3D viewer. And uh, the biggest change you will find, of course, in the brand new 3D engine that brings a lot more detail and quality to your 3D presentations in real time, but of course also uh, when it comes to photos and the new walkthrough videos and so on. Uh, the beauty with the new software is that it's actually just as fast as the old version, but brings in all the new features, the new quality of 3D. Uh, though we've added a three-star system here, so if you want to speed up your 3D experience, if you're running on an older computer, for example, then you can use the three-star system up here to change the quality of the real-time 3D experience. So when I go down here, you'll see in the top left corner, this is the frames per second, which uh, calculates, gives you the speed of 3D. If I go down one more, it increases up to 200. Or back up to full effects, I got clo close to 60 frames per second. Uh, this means you can always have the fast 3D, you can go to a position and then turn on all the effects if you need to on a, on a slower computer, for example. Uh, when saving photos and uh, recording video, that will of course use the top star. So you will always have perfect quality. Uh, all right, that is the star system. Uh, in terms of new features, let's start with photo. If I click on the photo camera icon here, it will open up my photo menu looks very similar to the old one. The big change here is I can click on depth of focus and then I can use a focus tool. If you're trying to highlight something in the layout, for example, you can use that tool. It's pretty cool. And then you render the photo as normal. Let's take a look at the walkthrough video option. This is the walkthrough uh, to record a video icon so I'm gonna click on that and the way this works is you're gonna set three a minimum of three camera points which are called keyframes you need to have a minimum of three otherwise it's not gonna create the video so what you do is you first select perhaps your first view in the in video so I'm gonna click add keyframe then I can move somewhere else click add keyframe again move somewhere else add keyframe and I can of course do this for as long as I want for as many frames as I want we'll zoom up over here maybe right there add keyframe so now I have five and the closer you set the keyframes to each other the slower the video will be the the walkthrough of the gym if you do a camera point in one corner of the gym and another in the next in the other corner that will be a super fast movement so you get to try that out, which works the best for you. Uh, you have the option to clear the keyframes if you're not happy with the, with the path that you decided. Uh, you can also preview the walkthrough, which I'm doing here. So we can walk through and just give a quick tour if everything looks good in terms of the path. Like that. And when, if you want, you can loop that walkthrough as well. So it's this button, then it will just keep on going and going and going. To create a video, you simply click the create video button and you save the video under a name and then it will start processing and you and compress into a video format. In, and the videos are in MP4 format and in full HD. So it's really nice. Another cool feature is the 360 video option. Uh, with this option, once you've created your path and you click on the Create Video 360 option, it will record a video that's actually 360 degrees. 
meaning uh, if you upload the video to YouTube, which now supports 360, then the video will go uh, start and you can actually, using your mouse, look around in 360 degrees of that video. Now, if you're using uh, VR devices like uh, Google Cardboard or, or uh, Samsung Gear VR, for example, then you will be able to turn your head when watching the video and it will turn in the video as well. All right, perfect. We'll move over here again. This is the uh, quote option. Nothing has changed there. Presentation option, the same as well. This one is for Oculus Rift support. Oculus Rift is the new VR headset that is truly powerful. And Easy Design will support that. Meaning once you, if you have the Oculus Rift device and you go into the scene, you start the Oculus Rift feature, and you put on your headset, you're actually inside that facility and can walk around using the Xbox controller that comes with the Oculus Rift. This is truly immersive 3D. Very cool. So be sure to check out Oculus Rift. Then we have this icon, which is the cardboard icon. Uh, once you select this one and you select to create a photo, an image, it will record six photos and stitch them together into one full panoramic presentation. And by using Google Cardboard, Samsung Gear VR, or Oculus Rift, or any of these other VR devices, you can upload the photo into an app. And once you put on the headset, you can look around and then and see the full view, the 360 view of this facility. Uh, if you don't have any uh, VR headsets, you can upload the 360 panoramic image to different uh, websites and actually view it online and just use your mouse or touch screen uh, finger uh, and move around in the scene. That's also very cool. And if you want to learn more about that, there's a, re a tutorial that you can click that goes to our website. And here you have all the information about those options. Okay, that was a very, very quick introduction on the current beta for 4.5. Thank you very much.